conversations that you've had with him and how he can fit into this offense. He's, what he's, you guys are doing. he's a very smart back, very intelligent. He's bigger, he's fast. He's an all-around back, man. He can do it all. So, yeah. hey, he, he he's a, and he's very intelligent on the field. Looks smart, so I'm, I'm glad about that. We talk a lot about expectations with this group. You guys are obviously coming off the SEC West win, playing for the national, or playing for SEC championship. Um, what, what's the next step for this team in terms of what you guys think the goal is and the expectations for the 2020? Well, our well, our team's uh, whole uh, mindset is to graduate champions. That's our that's our logo slogan. Uh, to the graduate champion and to follow our uh, our like our morals is to stay focused. Uh, be respectful and do the things that you know what I'm saying that coach wants us to do but as far as besides graduate champions I me personally I want to just have more fun on the field be more vocal on the field and really just be myself don't really don't be shy and just kind of just let it all out have you seen have you seen Jaden have you seen Jaden change as a quarterback have you seen him change I have seen Jaden grow tremendously since he's gotten to LSU not only from the vocal standpoint but more uh, confidence. Um, I feel like Jaden has gotten stronger in the weight room, faster. His body's gotten better. His he's just gotten more confident in throwing the ball. I think Jaden has been going up since the end of the season last year. Is this the best running back room y'all had? Man, did you ever stop and count how many guys have been through there since you've been there? Like, okay, <laughs> the, LSU, the LSU running back room could have, could have this Hall of Fame of its own. It has a lot of uh, a lot of history in that room. A lot of guys that I could bring up, but I don't know. I don't know. I could say this is the best running back room LSU's ever had. But for you, I, for since you've been oh, there. since I've been here, I would say so. Yes, sir. We have a lot of depth. We have a lot of players on the on the um, on the on the roster. Um, I mean, I don't want to be a, you know controversial, but you know, I I think we have a good uh, running back room this year. You got so many guys. Has there yeah. been any conversations starting yet about how y'all are going to? Uh, I, I, ultimately, it all goes up to Coach Kelly. At the end of the day, we all understand, hey, we're trying to win a game. It's not about reps or who, who wants to get more yards. We're trying to win a national championship at the end of the day. He understands that, and we all understand that. So he'll, he'll, he'll tell us, hey, Josh, this is your opportunity. This is what I think you'll do best at, and that's who will get the reps. And we're all okay with that because we, we're all in it for the same cause. You kind of realize when you got to college, it's, it's like one guy doesn't carry the load, not in the SEC. Like, 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 yeah. realize it kind of takes a village as far as running back. So it's something you kind of learn as soon as you got there. Of course, yeah, definitely. Just seeing all the injuries over the years, just how banged up and how physical the SEC is. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rough game out there. And then having a deep running back room just makes your team that much more dangerous. Any, uh, you haven't seen him play yet, but any early impressions of Logan? I haven't seen him play yet, like on the field or anything, but he's a big back. Super, super smart uh, on field, like book smart, and um, haven't seen him run on the field yet. But he's super strong, super smart. He's there every day, leading on, on, on vocally. So I'm excited to see see him in camp. When this, yeah. when this was all over for you, is there a satisfaction of like I bet on myself, I did it my way. You know, I, mean, I, I bet on myself. When people wouldn't bet on me, I bet on me. Definitely, I would say that. I mean, my story, I would say, is a is a unique one. Uh, I never, never thought of myself as being a walk-on or being a guy that wasn't good enough to play at the next level. So whenever I decided to come to LSU as a walk-on, it wasn't really, in my eyes, it wasn't like I was betting on myself. I just was waiting for my opportunity. Back to Jaden for a second. Was there, when did you feel like that sort of confidence started to really emerge? Like, was there a time when you saw it? Oh, I could see it as I see it every game. I could just see him every game. Huh? Just getting more and more confident, more and more confident. Especially after that Alabama game, he's just running around everywhere. I mean, Going into the offseason, I saw Jaden come in more often, stay coming earlier, stay later, talking to guys, talking with his receivers more, talking with his own line, uh, coordinating play around practices and stuff of that, so, that nature. So this has been a lot more communication from Jaden, a lot more confidence, a lot more growth. So it's like he's just taking over the team. You you would, of course, you know, miss spring ball, but have you been in like in any of these you know, sort of drawing sessions with him since uh, I've, I've, been, I've been fully cleared like maybe a week after spring ball. So I've been cleared for the whole summer. I've been doing all the runnings, all the team runs, all the workouts, all the lifts, everything. So you're, so you're full go for camp? I'm full go for camp, so I'm excited. What, 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 I'm sorry, if I, um, like, so any of these summer throwing sessions going on? Has any of y'all been doing those with Nick Yeah, Jaden's been uh, having like all the receivers come out, play around practices, no coaches, just all the players 
and we're just throwing routes, going over our plays. O linemen will come out and run some drills. We're just doing it all on our own, you know. I mean, that's a very typical summer thing. But is it there any difference to it from last summer because you've had like a full year together? I would say so. I would say guys are more comfortable. Uh, I would say guys are more comfortable around each other. I would say that guys, are, more guys are stepping up and becoming leaders and and bringing guys to the field and not just going by themselves and just letting them go around. They're, they're hey guys, we're going to the field and this is what we're doing. And they're just becoming the more leaders on the team. From maybe last summer to this summer, how has the training this summer kind of really changed? Um, you all kind of tweaked some things in terms of what you guys were focusing on mm -hmm. uh, well, workout-wise to this year? This year I mean, we have, have done a lot of speed work, a lot of speed training, a lot of running. Uh, I know Coach Flint last year couldn't really implement his full uh, strength training program because it was like first uh, year where like, we were with him or whatever. But this year we've really picked it up, really going hard at it. And he's been telling us that we're doing great with like our numbers and running. So we're excited. We know we put in the work. <laughs>